Hello everybody and welcome back to Morrowind. I am trying to see if I'm peeking my microphone, which I am right now. That is not good. Let's let's just let's put the volume down. I think I'm gonna be peeking it a little bit less now. Um, it has been my birthday recently. Uh, I, I'm wearing a necklace that my husband has gifted me. You can't see it from up close, but um. Well, from that far away, but I might show it slightly more up close. Later, I am wearing one of my new dresses. I ordered two more. They're gonna be arriving, like, probably next week. It's surprisingly fast, but also from a country that it's, it's actually kind of hard to import from, so it was expensive. But hey, you only turned 30 what once. What you here, Argonian? And I'm wearing new lipstick. That I honestly kind of really like the color because mine were all like wearing super down. This is, this is like I think plum. I'm like, oh my god, it's so pretty. I have stopped this person because we want to go to, um, Solstheim, and I forgot how to get there. A terrible place, I've heard. There's a boat from Cool. If you have any reason to go. Let me just figure out where cool is really fast. It has been a while. I am so sorry. My life has been full of events. Birthday being one of them. Uh, I, I think it might be okay to teleport to Alrune, then go to Nisus, and from Nisus to Cool. What makes uh, this I'm gonna be a bit rusty Welcome, today. I also got to say that the dress that I'm currently wearing, I really love it. There's Welcome something very empowering dinosaurs. about having a about? far too much cleavage. I can't explain it. Let me just jump to Outrun, I think I said, and then from there to Nisus. Ah, uh, thank you, Hexman! It's been a couple of days now, but, you know, I just get to enjoy all well, the stuff that I got. <laughs> well, most of it. Some of it is still traveling. I also have a piece of clothing that I'll have to, like, fix. Because otherwise it just... It can unshoulder far too easy. This, this. God damn it! I lost the silt strider again. There you are. Me. Oh, you can go directly to cool. Cool. Why walk when you can ride? I don't know. Should I put down the recall onto the mainland? You know what? We're not gonna do that. For one thing, this is the last expansion, so after we finish it, we're done with Morrowind. So I don't actually know why I would even be going back to the mainland. I need a boat? The source time? I think it's gonna be the boat kinda looks like Vikings made it. Not you. Okay. Are you in need of transport? Sphere will gladly take you to Fort Frostmoth in Solstheim for a small fee. Yes, yes, I am in need of transport to Expansion Land. Thank you very much. Hey, and it's sunlight. Do you? Oh, this is good. We actually have a map for this one. What do you want? I don't know. What do you want? Sorry, Argonian can't talk right now. We're waiting for our escort to Raven Rock. Go see Carnius Magnus in the shrine if you need something. Okay, so they're waiting for an escort. An and they want me to speak with someone who's named Carnius Magnus. Maybe I can help to escort them. Anytime you're ready, just don't keep me waiting. That is a very peculiar type of armor. What's this about? So that's her skin color. And that's her skin. So that is a breastplate. 
Stop walking around. I want to take a good look at you. Then you have a studded loin guard. And from the other side, she's covering her ass with a bit of fur. Huh. Okay, let's just hope that she so didn't like skin any Khajiit and proceed on. Well, you're not the person that I'm looking for. Why are you studying the sermons of Vivek? They're about as confusing as it can get. I want nothing to do with you, Argonian. Oh. I ha I want nothing to do with you, Argonian. That's very nice. If you need shrine services, just ask, but be quick. I have an important cult matter on my mind right now. Yes, you see, my protege Marisa left the shrine over a month ago for those forsaken frozen wastes. Her challenge was to bring the word of the Imperial cult to the local savages. <laughs> she hasn't returned, and I feared the worst. I'm not surprised. What else would we call them? They're hardly civilized with all that bear and wolf worship. And they hardly even recognize the Nine Divines. Most Nords are too busy worshipping heathen gods like Alduin and Orki. That's why Marissa's missionary work is so important. Marissa has a passion for preaching. She thought she could be more effective by spreading the tenets of the Imperial cult to the residents of Solstheim. It's dangerous but necessary work. Her journeys into the wild have been very successful in the past, but Marissa never returned from her last outing. I fear something terrible has happened to her. I, I don't suppose you would be willing to look for Marissa? She means a great deal to me. This is, uh, she, her work is very important to the Imperial cult. You have the look of an adventure about you, Myrta. If you could find Marissa and return her to me, it would gladly empty the shrine's coffers into your purse. She left here over a month ago and headed north towards a Lake of Fyajin. You should begin your search in that area. It's a big lake towards the northeast. Of course, it's covered in ice, so it is not of much That's use. Oh, you could do out. some ice skating. Stop dissing ice. Uh, anyway, I was looking for a guy named Marius, I think? You might be correct, I don't know. Ooh. I could always break in, but I probably shouldn't. What do you want? Is this about the East Empire Company? I'm, I'm a very important man, I'll have you know, and I have no time for anything other than business. Yes, that's right. I'm the local factor, not that it matters much at this point. Our operations are getting underway and frankly, we're short-handed. We could use some help. Do you wish to join the East Empire Company? Your interest is commendable, and we can certainly use the manual label, labor if nothing else. As with all business, make sure you understand the requirements before agreeing to anything. So are you willing? Uh, sure, what are you doing? Very well then, you are now an underling in the East Empire Company. I'll make it clear to you now that I'm the one in charge. See me when you're ready for an assignment or want a promotion. You think you're ready for work, eh? Very well. The first of our workers have arrived and need to get into the mining site. None of them are particularly skilled with a blade, so I would like you to escort them. They know the way, you simply have to make sure they arrive safely. Once there, check in with Falco Galenus, he'll give you further instructions. For now, go and see Gigar Verothian. He's down by the dock. One thing about um, Morwind. Let's hear it. Okay, well that that doesn't lead anywhere. That I slightly dislike is that for ex for main quest, it was very easy to figure out where the main story is. For all of the expansions, it feels really complicated. Like, I never know if I accepted the right things, if I'm at the right spot, am I just doing some sort of side quests, or what am I doing? I am gonna mark this location, I think. I will have to return to it quite often, I imagine. At least once. So, being able to just recall will help, I imagine. Anyway, we have some people to escort, but... 
We also have like a probably very dead lady to find. They did tell me that there is a lake to the northeast. Is it that one? That kind of looks like a lake. So we should just check the territory. I will start using hide if I need to. Be careful out here in the wild, friend. It, he looks like a very pretty man. Just wolves and bears. So you traveled the wilds of Solstheim, just as I do? Here's a word of advice for one wanderer to another. Keep your eyes open and your wits about you. There's more than bears and wolves roaming about this island. If you find yourself face to face with berserkers or freeze hags, sheath your blade and get to running. If you need shelter, my kinsfolk at Thrisk will gladly take you in. Thrisk is the finest mead hole you'll ever visit, friend. It lies north of here to the east of Lake Friaging. If you reach the Skull Village, you've gone too far. When you get there, see Ulfren. She's in charge of the mead and will gladly sell you a flagon or three. Berserkers? They're called bear sarks in the North Tongue because of their insistence of going bare-chested, even in the most severe blizzard. They're crazy as they come, friend, and care only for savagery and murder. It is said that they're attracted to death they make their homes in some of the Solstheim's burial barrows. I've heard rumor of some kind of berserker mother, but no one has ever seen her and lived to tell about it. Freeze hacks. The freeze hacks are mages dedicated to the teachings of Kine, the widow of the god Shore. Each in is a powerful sorceress skilled in the use of frost-based magicka. They are vicious losses and view most people as a threat to their beliefs. They are seen out in the wild and in a couple of ice caves. Wolves are all over this land, some travel in packs, which makes them especially dangerous. I've heard some carry disease as well. Lots of bears around the island. Some of them are pretty nasty, even diseased. Does, doesn't pay to mess with them, though their pelts can be valuable here. Okay, well, we're learning a lot of things about this location. Though, I gotta say, it's pretty weird, because it's a bit like... They're tried to colonize Skyrim. That's what it feels like. I never realized that Morrowind location wise is this close to like Nord territory. I don't know, should I talk with that or hide? You're dead already. I am not dead already. I am entirely invisible. It just seems that they failed to notice or care. Okay. I suppose invisibility will, won't do much good for us then. We have quite a few levitation spells. Now, I don't actually know how hard it is to murder any of these people. So it might make more sense to do the murdering than the running and hiding, but... I don't particularly want to do the murdering. Is that a giant slug? No. flying works and we can always recall oh no it was my birthday a couple of days ago now like two <laughs> but thank you 
Okay, I think that they forgot about me, so flying does work. Oh, got it. I feel very underdressed for this game, but at the same time, it's very hot because summer has been coming, so I think I'm just gonna be wearing a lot of very scantily clad clothes in like the next three months because I'm trying to not die from heat stroke. Ooh, I did not realize that you can actually dive in here. Now, mind you, not entirely sure how to get out of the water, so I'm just gonna cast some water walk. There we go. There, there has been like a missionary that's gone missing around here. Because she went to the lake, I suppose. I don't know why you would do that. That is very cute. I don't really want to fight a hork or it just reminds me of a seal. Don't particularly want to fight anyone else either. Okay, so that is Lake Fyajing. So this is definitely where she went. She's not gonna be like drowned in here, is she? Still water walking, so I can't really check. Ah, there we go. I can also do some water breathing. I just want to make sure that there isn't like. A random drowned girly somewhere in here. Why would you go preaching to a lake? They were like, oh, she was heading northeast towards this. Who was she gonna preach to? Maybe it's that group of people that we ran past? That would make some resemblance of sense? And they like murdered her? Maybe they like half her corpse or something. I don't think that she's gonna be underwater. Now mind you, I'm very aware that this is definitely not the main quest, but... When a guy asks me nicely to go and, you know, find somebody that went missing, I kinda actually do wanna do it. Would she just, like, have entered here? I mean, this is Thriss. Like, if she went to preach here, then it would make logical sense that... She would have, you know, gotten to Thrisk. Hi, stranger, I'm Ulfren, and I welcome you to meet a Hall of Thrisk. So long as you behave yourself, we'll get along just fine. If you want to buy some meat, just ask. If you haven't already, I suggest you introduce yourself to Scottle Wolfrunner. He's the chieftain of this mead hall, and will want to greet a new arrival. Marissa never returned. Talk to Eric. That's all I'll say. Speak up. Uh, some people are born dumb. Like well, me. well, aren't you a pretty little pup? What do you want? Speak up, wench. I'm a busy man. You called me a pup and a wench in the same sentence. I'm slightly um, confused whether I should be offended or... Oh, isn't that sad? Boo-hoo. I don't know nothing. Do you know something now? Ha! Huh. You want to know a secret? I have that little tramp locked upstairs in my room. That's right. She came here preaching about how meat is evil. Made me right furious it did, so I took her. I smack her around every now and then and throw meat on her, that sort of thing. <laughs> um... I don't suppose I could, like, purchase... 
the gal off you? I do have money to throw around. Enjoy our mead and Hey, good Martha! Skirter Wolfrunner is my name. I am the chieftain of Trisk. And welcome you to our home. You'll not find a better mead hall anywhere, not even in Skyrim. For 100 years, Thrisk has withstood all manner of attack, from the snow and hail to those infernal ricklings. But the mead has still stands, and his hospitality is unmatched. Please, stay and relax, enjoy your fine drink, and seek shelter from the cold. Here, my friend, taste the nectar of shore. Ricklings? They're vicious little things. If you see one, you're in for a fight. If you see one riding a tusk brittleback, you're in for a real fight. The tusk brittleback is a type of boar native to Solstheim. There are loads of them around and they're sometimes hunted for their meat. The bristlebacks can be vi vi vicious too. That's why the ricklings use them as mounts. Um, ah, the missionary came here several weeks ago. She started talking about her shrine and then began preaching about the evils of meat. Nice lass, but a little high strung. Eric, he didn't really like what she had to say. Thought he'll teach her a lesson. I'm not really sure where she is now. Skrutter gives you a knowing look and then gestures with his head to the staircase leading to the second floor. Uh, so, um, you guys won't be upset if I just kind of release her? I'll just, I'll take a nap while I'm here. I think you'll find my books very enlightening. Greetings, Myrta. My name is Berit Jastrel. Perhaps you'll like to buy one of my books. I'm a bookseller by trade, but my real passion is writing. I recently finished scholarly works. Thrisk, a history and uh, Sovngarde, a re-examination. Re I have copies of both for sale, among others. Uh, Sovngarde a re-examination. The Nords believe their god Shor constructed a magnificent fortress where the valiant Nord warriors may live forever, feasting, fighting, basically doing everything Nords like to do. The trick is finding the way in. According to legend, the entrance to Solvergard is hidden and only those that take up the search may ever find the way in. Well, it kind of makes sense that you wouldn't find it if you're not looking for it. But according to my research, which I chronicled in the new book, the way into Selvengard isn't quite what they thought. Thrisk a history? I came to Thrisk all the way from Cyrodiil, by the way of Wardenfell. My father once visited Solstheim, you see, and as a boy I was intrigued by his exciting stories of all the Nords. I was particularly fascinated with the very Mead Hall, its residents and their adventures, things like that. I arrived here over a year ago and have been living among the Nords ever since. I've been chronicling their lives and recently collected enough data to complete my history of Thrisk. Interesting! I don't want to purchase it though, but thank you for your bed. Okay, so... This is not a... This is not a hard lock, I can just... Ooh. Hello! Please, stranger, help me. I'm being held prisoner by that disgusting Nord, Eric. I came to the Mead Hall to preach the way of the Nine Divines, and this is how I was repaid. <laughs> it serves you right. I definitely thought that you would be dead, you know. Um, I came to Thrisk to preach the word of the cult and to sway the barbarians from their love of drink. The foul Eric poured mead on me. Then, then he struck me, and I awoke in his chambers. That was over three weeks ago, and by... By my reckoning, every day he comes in to taunt me and beat me. The only food and drink I've been given is rotten meat and meat. <laughs> Please, stranger, you must release me so that we may travel together back to the cult shrine. <laughs> Will you escort me? Yes. Let's go. You lead it on and I'll follow you back to the Imperial cult shrine at Fort Frostmoth. Okay, come on. <laughs> you know, they could have done so much worse. They literally were just like, oh, you hate drink? Let me just pour that drink on you every single day and give you as like the only thing that you can eat. Because I'm seriously, when you just like come in and start preaching religion where you're not welcome, 
people get very aggressive. It's... It's not something that you should do. Maybe where you're from, it's right to enter someone's chamber and play with their things, but it's not all right around here. The missionary is mine, understand? I know you were trouble when I first laid eyes on you. Now I'm going to have to teach you some manners. My dude. I really don't want to, like, take out my summons, so I'm just gonna stick to a dagger. Or I'm just gonna leave. That worked. Okay. Let's go. Let's go all the way back, and we're gonna try not to run into anything. Got it? The fact that there's danger music playing means that I probably have already- yep. That's definitely not nothing. Hello. Guys, will I have to cast a whole bunch of restoration spells right after? I don't ever like doing that. Oh, absorbing her works very well in here. There we go. Now, I will have to cast a whole bunch of restoration spells because they were like, let us just tank everything down. Okay, your blade is not as good as my blade. I don't really need lockpicks. I do need to be able to move, though. That is fairly important. I am quite enjoying this island. It feels kind of small compared to the main game. But it has snow and stuff. I like that. I like snow. Just do not crash. Okay, we have not uh, crashed. We just have no way of minimizing the game. Well, that's gonna be problematic. <laughs> okay. Well, Morrowind wants to do Morrowind things today. I, I can't really say how Morrowind's gonna behave, especially considering that... Um, in between the last time when I streamed... I... Changed over graphics cards because the previous time when my whole computer died, it appears that it was my whole computer that died. It wasn't just like a partial death, it was like full computer death. Um, my graphics card has developed a fault and it kept on like shooting, having electricity spikes from time to time. Um, uh, that made me- that made it very incapable of, like, staying running. Oh, God damn it! Um... Come! Please don't murder the woman that I'm trying to escort. It's not very nice. Really? That is where I have my autosave? Are you for real? Can I even save her? That is the question. I need my summoning glove first. my healing spell, which I just cast because I accidentally hit myself with healing. Oh, 
I don't really want to practice necromancy. Oh shit. Game, are you crashing? Yes, it is. That has been a problem before. Is doing it slow enough that she's like still dying to the boars. What kind of weird ass boar place is this? It doesn't help that there's three targets. Like, at that point, nothing can even be, like, hitting her. <laughs> um... Thank you! My first time has been actually, like, a couple days ago. <laughs> the chat is just a bit slow. But thank you for the, for, for the um, congrats. Um... I can't seem to be to, to do this escort quest because we have angered... Three boars. Um, so I, I gotta say, I prefer base game more when a lot of the expansions. Like the previous expansion that I was doing just felt like absolute bullshit. And um, this one is already feeling like bullshit too, so. Did I just kill her there? Because I feel like I might have hit her a bit. Like, what is she even dying from? That is my question. I would, but you're literally standing inside the freaking boar! I'll just let myself die to the boar. Um, I really don't want to give up on it. But like, they don't want to see me as aggressive. Um, I can't use summons. They will absolutely um, hit where they're not supposed to, and they will crash the game. And I can't position myself as a living human shield. Because they still hit through it. Even if I'm successful at turning some of them around. The rest are still going um, after her in particular. Don't have like some sort of magic anti boar spell, that would be very nice. because this is somehow keeping the attention off her for long enough for us to maybe, like, murder some shit. One boar. We can do this. 
Okay. Um. Let's let's do a hard save. Let's let's title this woe. Cause Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you. Why not? I'm gonna take off the meat of this one. Let's not run into any more boars. Is that a house? Is that a dead person? The song of Uncle Sweet here. <laughs> okay. He he ho ho. To the workshop he will go. My uncle's candy is so sweet. It's such a yummy winter's treat. When the sugar is warmed by the pale hearth light, the happiness spreads throughout the night. He he ha ho. To the workshop he will go. Uncle Sweet Chair is coming near to spread his candy in his cheer. It's better than trinkets, games, or toys. So say all the little girls and boys. He he ha ho. To the workshop he will go. Candy candy he makes so much. Uncle Sweet Chair has a magic touch. So it's back to the workshop in the snow with a lovely lanterns all aglow. It really sounds like you were selling drugs to kids. Um, kind of happy that you're dead, actually. Don't mind me. Okay, one of you are still alive. Hee hee ha ha, can it be a visitor in my workshop? How can I help you, sweet Myrta? I have candy treats to spare if you come in search of happiness. My candy treats are tasty, they are, and filled with special sugar and love. They bring happiness, happiness to everyone on Swiss time. That's what I do, you see. I give out my special sugary treats and spread happiness throughout the land. It's difficult work, but also very rewarding. Minashi certainly thought so. Ah, uh, Minashi, the dear lad. Minashi was my assistant. He helped me make the candy. He so loved his sugar, Minashi did. Loved it a little too much, I'm afraid. He died, you see. Ah, uh, sweet tooth got the better of him. I buried him just outside. We had a lovely little ceremony. The horkers came and sang for him, they did. <laughs> yep, he's just his assistant. Strange creatures, horkers. Did you know they can walk on land and swim in the water? You mean just like everybody else? I mean, we can do that too, if you haven't noticed. Candy, candy, he makes so much. Uncle Sweet Cher has a magic touch. So it's back to the workshop in the snow with lovely lanterns all aglow. Hee hee, ha ho, hee hee, ha ha ho. I'll leave you to it. I wanted to use your bed, but if we're not gonna be doing that, then we may as well try to um, slowly go back without aggroing any more wildlife. Which is a lot easier said than done. Wolves, wolves, giant man. God damn it, not the pigs again. I hit her on accident. Um,
Are you not an angry giant man? You there? Can you help a warrior in trouble? Oh, don't not murder, help. I'm not sure what your business is out here in the wild, but I'm glad you're not one of my skull brothers. You surely wonder why I'm not inside the barrel killing the Vladir Draugr. Ah oh, yeah, isn't the Draugr that resides... It's the Draugr that resides here in Vladir Barrel. I'm supposed to kill it, you see, single-handedly. Killing a Draugr is a task every skull lad must complete before becoming a man. Only I can't kill it. I've tried, it nearly slipped my throat. But I can't return to my village until it's dead, so maybe you could help. You could go with me and serve as a distraction. Okay. Good. With your help, I'll make sure of the work of the Draugr. Lead on, Marta. I'll follow, and when we encounter the beast, you distract it while I attack. Please do not attack the Draugr. I alone must attack and kill it. At, le at least then, while I may retain a shred of my honor, <laughs> And will at least feel like I earned my place among my people, even if I did get a little help. So now... Oh. Okay. God damn it. Let's let's leave the Draugr man. Thank you for following. This is very hard. Um let's see. Oh, wow. Quoma Forager! <laughs> Just one of them. Um, could you please wait right here? I just wanna... First of all, take... Can you help a warrior in trouble? Agree to help you. And secondly, like, get rid of some of the boars in here. Well, I suppose they would like bring their own, um, their own mages. That would work. Come on. Are you gonna attack it or? I I can wait a very long time, so this is gonna work out just fine. But you do need to, you do need to, to like be attacking. Bring a lot of people in at once, it looks very intimidating. By the gods, that was a good fight! Did you see me? I was magnificent. With the Draugr dead, I am truly a man. I've got to get back to the Skull Village and tell my brothers the good news. If you're ever in the village, come to my house and I shall greet you as a brother. Oh, and Marta, I trust you to keep this between the two of us. I wish I could offer some kind of reward, but I have so little. I know, I shall leave the Draugr treasure bee. It is yours, my friend. They call you like... What? From this just one Draugr? It's, it's empty. Is there anything else in here? I suppose a little bit of money. Don't really want an amulet of shield. An amulet of making boars not attack you would be a lot more useful for me. I mean, you see this like in Baldur's Gate, where you have people that, you know, are mages and they do like good AoE spells, but 
if you're like also um if you have a lot of forces you are gonna win because just because you can hit everything at once it doesn't mean that it does 100 percent of their health and damage um Born that that way, some lions that way. I'm not giving up that easily. Okay, we picked boar, I see. Yeah, but it still does like flat damage, and if it's not like doing 100% of your health and damage. And you will be just fine. Am I good or what? I don't know. You keep on launching yourself into bars and you can't survive a single one of them, so I don't know how to rate you, NPC. Plus you got trapped into some in some guy's room. Just getting mead spilled on you. Do, do you do rate that performance as good? Because I don't know, I don't feel like I do. Oh, they very obviously do. <laughs> I mean, my health is literally a bar. As long as it's not zero, I can restore it, restore it back up. If I sleep, all of my injuries heal, no matter how bad they are. Run or die. Who are we? Oh no! <laughs> Don't charge- okay! Oh, oh, this is- Please, be careful. You know, people kept on telling me that these naked people were so hard to kill. But I don't know, that naked man seemed easier than a boar. I mean... It would have to mean... That a singular, like... Fireball or lightning strike isn't really deadly to people. And that um, when they sleep, they regenerate all that. Especially considering that healing potions, like cure disease potions, um, cure blight potions, all of that obviously enters like the real world, off the game. It doesn't just apply to the protagonist. Because we even have such concepts as, if you're a vampire, you're obviously an evil person. Because you had three days to cure that, what a simple cure disease potion might do. If you haven't, you obviously wanted this. I am trying to wait for you, my lady, but I'm also trying to not to anger any wildlife. If it was me, it would be okay. Like, I just, I ran past everything. But it is you that we're talking about. And, um... You die very easily. Hey, oh yes! I thought that I could just tell him that I have been to Thrisk, but no. Watch the super. Forgot where the main building is. So what do you want? Uh, yay! You made it! Jesus Christ, that was difficult. Yes? What can this do? By the nine divines, you rescued my Marissa. Please take this gold. I know it's not much, but it's all we have in our coffers. I wish I could... Give more. Marissa is invaluable to me and to the Imperial cult. I've got a few minutes if you need some. Thanks for escorting me back to the Imperial cult shrine. If you haven't already, make sure to talk to Jolene. He'll want to reward you for your duty. <laughs> hey, look at us go! 
We escorted a whole ass woman and she arrived alive. And that's great. I could do to figuring out if anybody in here can repair gear. That's just the guard. Yes! What do you want? Go see Captain Carius. He's in the chambers at the fort. Head through the general quarters all the way up the south staircase. On the third floor are his chambers. If you're here about that colony business, talk to Carius Magnus. He's in the Imperial Cult Shrine. So I took care of it. You're not gonna you're not gonna repair me? Or am I supposed to repair myself? Said general quarters. I didn't realize that there's two people with like very similar names. Is this the right staircase? One of them will be. Ah, Carius's chambers. Hello. What can I do for you? I am the Captain Falk Carius, commander of Fort Frostmark. We are an Imperial fort. Obviously, my soldiers have the ability to be among the best in all of the Empire. This island of Solsheim is not the easiest assignment, though, and sometimes it can make the men edgy. As I said, this is a difficult post. These soldiers are separated from their families and forced to live in harsh conditions. To be fair, most of these men were sent to this island as punishment for past offense. They're not the best of soldiers. Yet still, until recently, they had performed their duties adequately. Lately, I have noticed some disturbing trends. To be sure, the men have been restless, complaining more than usual. They have been lackadaisical in the performance of their duties. I sense a great unease among them, and morale has been low. Very low. This is not normal. My instinct tells me that there is one among my troops who is fawning the fires of this discontent, and I wish to know who it is. They will never let me know who the culprit is. As their commanding officer, I must regretfully keep some distance between these fine soldiers and myself. They may be willing to speak with you, though. See if you can't gain their trust. If you learn anything, report back to me. Okay. Um... I asked you to investigate why the morale has been low in the fort. Have you learned anything? You have asked me half a second ago, my dude. When would I have had the time? Do any guards work? Sure could use a drink. I mean, the armory dude refused to do the armory stuff, so... could use a drink. I think... I think... That is very obvious solution, like... Go ahead, I don't know how the captain missed it. It's like... Right there. I don't know where I'm going. It's definitely the wrong staircase. <laughs> I don't even know if I entered through the right place. I just, out of habit, went through a door and started climbing. Like, how do you not notice that all of your... That, that all of your workers are thirsty? It seems very... Have you tried giving them tea? So 
that's... He, he doesn't just accept that as an answer. Do I need to bring them alcohol to make them speak? Is that it? Ooh, prison! Yes? It's so empty. Any time now. I just thought that maybe you held some fun people in here. You could have told me how where to get some alcohol, you know. Any time. But no, I think this is solely for me. In case I commit a crime. Because you know, you're just in a game where you can become a god. Almost like twice over. And then the moment the moment a singular guard like sees you take some coins that Anything aren't yours they will just you. arrest you uh, morale has been low yeah i know it has these soldiers lead a difficult existence on this island it's called wet dangerous and far from home the men here are denied all luxuries this place is just so damned awful Yes, what can this humble priest do? Is this a wall? No, okay. Yes, what can this humble priest do? Can't tell her that morale has been low. What brings you? Nor him. I need to find somebody else that I can talk with. What is it? All oh, right, I I I promise to escort some people for you. Go ahead, stranger. Do you want me to go back to the mainland and import you some alcohol? I'm not exactly stuck on this island. Yes. What so what's this about? So what do you want? Yes, yes. friends. Uh. What? Okay, that is definitely weird. Rest is on T. So if I press T there, it works. And if I press T here, it's acting. As if it's a macro. Majority of my other buttons work. Recall works. But T does not know that it is T. What? That is very bizarre. How 
does that even happen? Oh well, I have more than one keyboard, I can figure that out. All I ask for is a pair of boots. How hard could it be? Do you wish to go back to Warrenfell as much as I do? What about Raven Rock, where the new colony is going to be built? I can take you for a price. The Empire wishes to build a mine west of here, Ebony, they say. I say they will be very, very cold. Let me go back to cool first. And just, um... Actually, if I go to options... Do you just not know what P means? Has the button died? Okay, well, the game behaves as if the button has died, so... It might have done. Um, I need to purchase repair hammers galore. Also some alcohol, probably. It's scent is unfamiliar. Considering that you guys consider yourselves to be a trade house, I expected, you know, somebody that I can purchase from. So those are just like potions, not really alcohol. We might need to take a silt strata to a bigger location. Hi. I'm trying to remember where was the last bar that I've seen. And the last repairman. I'm not used to actually using these services. I could bring the moon sugar. That's another trade house. Don't need a trade house, I need an outright ale house. That is a temple. Have I ever seen a bar in this game? I must have. Okay, if I go all the way to Balmora, at the very least I'll know where things are. Ah yes, unfortunately this guy is just underneath here. So, I want to bring back an ability to repair myself, which means some repair har hammers. I also want to bring back a some drinks. unusual okay you should have a lot of repair hammers somewhere in here do you just not have them ah there we go I will take a whole 20 thanks oh come on it looks very stylistic. I need a bar. That's a traitor. I do remember that when I slaughtered a whole bunch of like people at the council, I think it was the council club. They had like a barman over here, I think. Thank you. 
that's Sir Delic Brandy. That is Flynn. Let's also bring some grief. Some Masty. Even some Sheen. I am bringing so many drinks. I could literally like feed the whole army, so hopefully this works. Need to go back to cool, then to take a, a ship again. Just for you. Say hello. Ships were that way, I think. Okay. What is this regard? And then hopefully they're gonna talk to us. I have so many repair hammers, so I should be fine. It does kind of remove the excitement of, like, getting gear, though. When you're like... I, I'm i completely kitted out. Go ahead, stranger. What do you... Hey, is that booze I smell on you? It smells like Sujama to me. I know that smell anywhere. How about giving a thirsty soldier a little pick-me-up? Hmm, take me away, sweet Sujama. Thanks, friend. This hasn't been the same around here since this became a dry fort. It's ridiculous, I tell you. That's right, no liquor at all is allowed at Fort Frostmoth these days. Captain's orders, I guess. Seemed odd, coming from him. Captain Carrius seems like a fair enough guy. As long as we carried out our duties, guess he figured out we weren't up to his standards, so he cut us off. Since then, everyone's been a pretty foul mood. Okay, so that's why everybody's upset. I was ready to just go and purchase a whole bunch of drinks. So that's the cool trine. I don't remember. Was it general quarters? Might be general quarters. Let's hear. I think it will be this staircase. Morale has been low. Hmm, I imagine that the lack of alcohol might have some effects on the morale, but I didn't even actually ban it. Personally, I didn't even care about the alcohol. It was the priest, Antonius Nuntius, who was worried about the effect it was having on the men. I disagreed, but the question became moot. Our shipment stopped coming in months ago. Speak with the soldiers a bit more and see if you can find out who the source of this discontent is. He's one of our priests here, not a bad one. Seems a bright enough fellow. He would only apply himself a little bit more. So, their shipment stopped coming. You've been asking about why this is a dry fort, right? Look, I'm not sure what caused all of this. I just know I, that I heard from Antonius Nuncius that the captain had placed a ban on all alcohol at the fort. And I'm sure enough, there was none to be found. The priest is not bad, I guess, for a priest. You'll find him at the Imperial Cult Shrine here at the fort. But he keeps an office upstairs from the armory. Could be in either place. Seems to understand the soldiers pretty well. He was telling me just the other day how it seemed unfair that the captain had cut us off from our drink. He figures that's one of our few pleasures in this dung heap of an island. Okay, but you had heard from him that the alcohol is banned. And my cat. Anything I can do for you? 
Your forehead is so smooth, not really. Drive for Yes! Odd that Captain would ban liquor for his trips. There's no understanding some people. He never banned alcohol. Told you that, did he? I guess he never officially did. Still, the shipment stopped coming. What to be done about that? Well, I have no idea why. I am but a simple priest forced to serve these pathetic soldiers on this terrible frozen excuse for an island. It's not my concern why the alcohol hasn't arrived. You have no proof I've done anything wrong. Stop asking me these questions. That sounds like something that a person that has done some wrong would say. He acts guilty though. He has a... What was it that they said? An office above the armory? And he's at the shrine right now. I'm a busy guy, so if you could hurry this up. Go ahead, stranger. I am going ahead. I'm going up, in fact. Every day is St. Plenty's Day in the Legion. Oh, Antonius Nuncius Closet. Okay, need to let out Cat again because she was let back in. Either always have your door open or never let cats in because otherwise they will always want to come in, come out, come in, come out. Um. Definitely can unlock this. He has a lot of booze in here. Should I just take the booze? Because this is very suspicious if you ask me. All of this booze. Stronger open lock spell if I want to open that one. Actually, I should still have some scrolls, I think. Thought I might need to just get out and make myself a spell for... This closet cannot be opened without the key. Okay, that was just a closet. I thought I saw something. Is there a magic key somewhere else around here? I don't actually... No, where his key would be. It's not in the desk. Oh wait, is that it? Ah. Yeah, there is a key up there. I can see it. just got the key um Loaded, would that help?
Okay, that is... Now that it is locked, maybe it will... figure out that I found the key. Cannot be opened without a... Then what kind of key did I find? Let me just search this up. And funny is this closet. Okay, so it is a different key that we don't know what kind of key did I just find? Huh? Mr. Having two keys? Absolutely impossible. Okay, we actually managed to load back in, thank god. Um, this game is extra finicky. With my current setup. So anyway, let's talk to him about it. Maybe you could just nicely undo the whole thing. That would be very nice of him. So what's this about? Shipment stopped arriving. Well, I have no idea. You've been at my desk? My desk? You've been in there? Well, that's an outrage. Stolen liquor? I have no idea. All right. Perhaps I have been hiding the alcohol. It was for their own good. And I had hoped that if the soldiers got fed up and revolted, I'll be able to justify going back home to my superiors. Look, I don't want any trouble from you. I'll need to report this to Carius. I'm finished. I'll never leave this island now, at least not alive. Carius will have my head. What have you done? I hope you're happy. Yeah. Well, yes, I am. This Don't steal my alcohol. Excuse me. I have to go all the way to the mainland to buy some... Do you know how far the mainland is and how inconvenient it is to have to go there to buy some alcohol? Go ahead, stranger. If I can be of any assistance, I'll be happy to... Well, at least everyone's super friendly with me now that I have been giving them booze. You say that Antonius Nancia started this whole thing because he wanted to go home. The twit. I could have had him reassigned had he just asked me. Now though, I think he might do this his best work here, saving the souls of my men with the new abundance of liquor at the fort. Someone will have to deliver their salvation. Thank you for your help, Myrtle. Dig these. There are diseases on this island that we have never encountered before, and the weapon may serve you well. Now on to more fort business. It looked half like a police officer, so that was very confusing. As I've told you, not all of my soldiers here are trustworthy. Many were sent to this fort in lieu of Ebonheart's dungeons. Now I fear that a criminal element has shown itself at Fort Frostmoth. I believe that their weapons being smuggled out of here and sold on Wardenfell. I've noticed that the store of weapons in the armory has been decreasing, and I know there is no official reason for it. My only guess is that someone is smuggling them off Solsheim to be sold on Wardenfell. I want you to uncover the smuggling ring, and I will provide you with a bit of help. It is a dangerous thing here at Fort Frostmoth. Our supplies are limited, and without them, I fear the soldiers will grow even more restless. And what is a fort without its weapons? Useless. Well... Um, you could just get a repairman to repair the ones that you already have. But your man does not agree to repair weapons for me, which is a problem. Better help? 
I would like you to work with one of my soldiers on this case. There are two available, one to you. And there are two of the best here at Fort Frostmoth. Sanius Lucius and Gai Gaia Artoria. You'll find Lucius in the general quarters and Artoria in the general quarters upper level. Speak with them and decide which will be your companion. When you have unearthed the smuggling ring, report to me. I leave how you deal with the smugglers to your own discretion. You know, serving the Empire is like top-notch boring, I must say. What's this about? Okay, so, well, at least with the boost problem having been solved, none of them are upset. Captain said you'd be by. I'm supposed to assist you with something. Yeah, Captain said something about some smugglers. Wanna go crack some skulls? Yeah, sure. Let's work together. Sounds good. Let's go get them. Sanus will have to run those other errands that Captain Carius has us to do. I'm ready for some action. Hmm, well, I figure that they're taking weapons from here and then bringing them somewhere else. Captain doesn't like it. Hope that helps. Someone else must know something. Let's go crack some skulls! Who would that someone else be? Smuggling. I don't know anything about that. Not sure I would tell you if I did, but since... I heard you're working with Artoria. You might want to speak with Zeno Faustus here in the fort. He knows things. Probably find him in the armory. Let's hear it. Traveling with companions in this game is very weird because they they just kind of approach your face too close up. It's very uncomfortable. If I can be of any assistance, I'll be happy to help. I need the armory. Did they ever get to sleep or are they just supposed to stand outside? The whole night. Hmm. Uh, yes. Oh, hello. Okay, you will finally repair my shit. Oh, thank God. Anyway. I'm not sure I should talk about that. I don't know you, and even though I heard you were working with Artoria, she doesn't scare me one bit. Are you sure? Okay, look, here's the deal. I overheard some of the soldiers talking about a place. The gang drunk caverns. That's a bit northeast of the fort. Something about weapons being stashed there. I didn't want to know more than that. Maybe you should check that place out. But if you find them, you'll have to kill them, unless you can find some other agreement. A bit northeast of the fort. Well, at least now we know where we're cracking some skulls. I do need to exit the fort, though. Anytime now. Don't know what a bit northeast would entail. Feel like I walked a lot northeast before, considering that I've been all the way up there. Maybe this wonderful lad will know something about weapon smuggling. Nope. Be careful. It's a shame, because if he's standing here all the time... Then surely he would have been seeing something. Is this a cavern? I don't know, but I am very suspicious about it. Oh, it is! Okay. I think she's 
still stuck outside somewhere. Oh well. You're mine. Is somebody else casting spells for me, or did you just accidentally paralyze yourself? Because I don't know. Can I just drink you? Oh, we're both paralyzed now. And he went back to full health. Is it something his weapon does sometimes to paralysis thing? Or is it the rat behind him? I need my regular healing, please. Many of them is in these caverns because they don't really want to fight like 200 people with paralysis equipped. Flesh! I am definitely made out of flesh. So he had an axe of paralysis, that makes sense. If I want to take it. I am gonna drop my booze on you. <laughs> Everyone can just like... You know, be like, boy that person was into drinking. Look at all the booze that he has been storing on himself. I don't need that many cure common diseases. You can have some. You can also have some Nord mead if you want. See, I'm anti-robbing. I leave the corpses with more than I found them with. How deep is the cave? Oh cool, that lets me mark, but I can mark with a spell and that's a lot, you know, cheaper. I can't unlock everything that's in this room. Well, that's shit. That's still shit. That's pretty shit. Okay. Don't know what was the point of locking all that. There are apparently enemies nearby. Hello? I have the upper hand. I wouldn't say that you have upper hand, I would say that you are definitely getting punched a lot. I, like to enjoy this. I need health. Badly. Just so you know, my dude, summoning really doesn't work. I mean, it does in the fact that you can, like, land things, but... I can hit you to death. Faster than your summon can actually do anything significant. They all have the stupid axe of paralysis. Okay, that one I like. All you had was a re- really? Friggin' hell, my dude's just storing one repair hammer in here. 
Potion of Invisibility, that's very convenient. Escape while you can. my dinner. Okay. I need somebody else with me to do this properly. So we are gonna use the game crashing gauntlet. Hopefully it won't crash the game. It crashed the game. Oof. Oh no. That gauntlet is absolutely unusable, I suppose, in the expansions because for some reason, in like the main game it worked just fine, but in like all of the expansions it just resorts in immediate game crash. I'm gonna click the play Morrowind button and sit very still. <laughs> I honestly need to get her back into the cave with me um, because I can't use summons because it just crashes the game. I don't know why. The game even killed my T button. Like, how is that even possible? Okay, local map. Because I need to leave this place now. How did I get in here? Even I had to enter this place to kill this dude. Oh, okay, it's through here. Let's not get confused by a tunnel. It's just not very good. Where's my companion at? I need to rest and then I can enter. I suppose I'll have to do that alone because I lost her somewhere. I don't know where though. Enemies are nearby or resting is illegal. There's like no in between. Like there was enemies nearby and resting was illegal in there.
I do remember her distinctly following me, so just the fact that I managed to arrive there without her? I'm like... Where did she go? This is like right next to the goddamn place. Oh, okay, naked person is charging me from very far away. Oh, that's where she is. That's really bizarre. No, these naked people are a lot squishier than I thought they were gonna be. You with me? We can enter this room without fucking up? I have you. Okay. Let's go and smack all of the soldiers with the paralysis weapons. I honestly really don't like it. On the upside, sometimes the paralysis themselves. Because it kind of bounces off me, but not all the time. No, they're trying very hard, just so you know. You've lost this round. Okay, now there's only one of them and there's two of us. That makes it a lot easier. I just need somebody to soak up all of those paralysis strikes. Though I am amazed that his buddy absolutely cannot hear this distance. I'll take that. You can chug potions without getting unparalyzed. You like you drink it with their with your thoughts. Don't ask me how that works. That's just how it is apparently. So I am always up for some po potions. Hello. We're just staggering him a lot. We've lost this round. His paralysis is so strong. <laughs> She's so calm about it. She's like, you lost this round. Well, he's making all sorts of noises. At the very least, their, like, ability to use this weapon runs out rather fast. It has, like, what, five casts on it? Now, it's not that bad on Morrowind because your weapon stuff just kind of recharges. Um... But it means that they at most can like paralyze me like five times during one fight. Which is enough to kill me. But as long as some of those fail. Mister actually knows how to heal himself. That makes him superior to everyone else. Aha! That was their captain! Well, the staff of paralysis. I'll take all your money. Could role play an imperial person in here? Okay, all the smugglers are dead now. Good for us. Bound gloves on yourself when used? That's weird. The heck would you even do with bound gloves?
No, I can't wear it anyway. Is this like loop around or... It does. Don't really want to be unlocking those because so far from what I've seen, there's nothing good anywhere. So it's really not worth it. Well, I found my companion, I cleared out the whole cave, I would say. We did good. Have much cooler gauntlets to those, so not very interested. I should equip my intelligence ring somewhere in here. There we go, ring of the smarts. If there's a barrel at the bottom of the barrel, that's where you'll find him. <laughs> okay. How often do you encounter a barrel at the bottom of the barrel? Is this like a problem that you have to, you know, solve pretty often? Like you open the barrel and there's just just another barrel and you're like, oh, okay. Well, that's a barrel. You know, Marwyn is, has this surprisingly a lot of voice acting. I wonder if it's because um, expansions came on their own discs, so... She doesn't want to go, well... I'll, I'll go home without her, I suppose. I'm quite busy with the moon sugar investigation. You're new at Frost Moth, so I guess you haven't heard. Over the past couple of months, several people across Solstheim have been poisoned with moon sugar. Someone has been slipping it into their food and wine. They experience temporary euphoria and then complete exhaustion. I've been charged with finding the culprit and bringing him to justice. Recently, our cult priest, Jolene, was poisoned, so it is now an imperial matter. Um, there's this guy in the middle of, okay, like, I'm nowhere. Listening. He makes moon sugar. I think he's your, he's, he's your dude. I've returned to Fort Frostmoth to report to Captain Carius, but the fort has been attacked in my absence? Oh! Okay. I did not notice. <laughs> I'm the hero here. Thank the gods you've returned. Like Imagine that. You just you're so focused on your quest that you just walk past a whole bunch of rubble. And then the game's all like, hey, their attack has been happening. And you're like, attack? Wait, does that mean that he's gone? The captain, I mean. Who do I talk to then? Find Lucius, he'll know what to do. I think I saw him. I think I ran past him. Because he was all like, thank god- I, I didn't enter the other, second level, have I? He was like, thank god you're here. Thank the gods you returned. Thank the gods you returned. That was a terrible battle on Captain Carius. Someone must find the captain. He's missing in the attack, he must be found. There was a terrible battle. We were caught completely by surprise, and in the aftermath we realized that Captain Carius was missing. I searched thoroughly, and there was no sign of his body, so I do not believe he is dead. And these wolf creatures... They were horrible and fierce. You must find him, Marta. There is a Nord village on the north end of this island. There may be something about... They may know something about what has occurred. Wolf, wolf creatures? I don't know exactly what to call them. Of course I've heard stories about werewolves, men who turn into beasts when the night falls, but never heard of them being seen on this island. And I've certainly never heard of so many of them working in concert 
Concert? Like, do they bring guitars? Horrible, horrible. I hope I never see such a creature again. North Village? It is on the northeastern tip of Solstheim. These Skull are nature worshippers. And they seem to have a special commune with the creatures of this island. If anyone knows what attacked the fort, it will be these norms. I will mark the location on your map. Oh, thank you, that's very useful. I would like you to earn their trust and find out what you can. You may have to remain with them for many days, but I believe you're up to the task. Here, take this. It was found in one of their tombs. Perhaps they, they will take it as a sign of good faith. Or they're gonna take it as a sign that I pillaged one of their tombs. <laughs> I think that is a lot more likely. What's this about? Right. I don't wanna like leave a whole bunch of people like hanging. Is there something I can do for you? Okay, I need to can I help you? So you're the escort, well fine. Let me know when you're ready to go. Gammon, Sabonius, and I need to get to the site so that we can work. Can we leave or do you need some more time? Let's go. Alright then, we all voted and decided that you get to take the lead. None of us particularly fond of these woods. I'm not saying we're cowards, mind you. We felt that you're better off leading the way. I can at least mark the spot on your map so you know which way to lead. <laughs> lead on! <laughs> so they need to get to Raven Rock, which is funny because the ship people over there... The ship person over there takes people to Raven Rock, so they could have just purchased the journey. I, I think it might have been cheaper than hiring me, but I might just be completely unpaid, so that might explain a thing or two. Please move faster than this. These woods are very dangerous to easily broken people like you are. Not so much to me. Come in. We'll have to fight a bear. Because this way I don't need to fight like a whole bunch of naked people and some animals that they have as well. Always run, never walk. Don't know who trained them. But they're like pretty shit. If you have time to walk, then you're not moving fast enough. Especially when the person escorting you has a hundred speed. We always be up ahead of you. I'm like Hussein Bolton here, just like speeding across the map. And they're like, yeah, we'll walk. Guarantee you this thing will attack. Thankfully, I. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that I just had a whole team of people punching them, but... Yeah, we can't exactly fight something that we can't kill. Okay, they're still trying. I'm technically in Raven Rock, but I don't see anything. <coughs> so I don't actually know what we're looking for. Is it this? Just some rocks? 
They're not very raven, but they are very bulbous. I'm sorry, but I'm here on official business and I don't have time to chat. Well, we made it in one piece. Thanks for the escort, Marta. Perhaps we'll run into each other again. So Carney has talked you into joining this little venture, did he? Well, very well. I'm managing the site from here and answering only to Carnius. Since you're here, I have an assignment for you. Carnius sent you to me for more instructions, yes? Well, you can finish the task I was working on before we got here. Now that some of the workers have arrived, they need to stay here and supervise. Here, take this ebony ore and find four more pieces like it. Carnius needs some proof for an, our investors that this venture is worth it. And the ore will do nicely. They shouldn't be too hard to find. There's quite an abundance of ebony ore in the area, which is why we chose the site. But Carnius is in such a hurry to get started that he came right out and said that he doesn't care where the ore comes from as long as he has enough to show the investors. I'm surprised he didn't just bring some over from Waddenfell when we arrived. I certainly wouldn't put it past him. Okay, so I need to find... Aw, you're sneezing too. I need to find some ore. This is surprisingly empty. Three. I'll take an extra one just in case. I hope that I can get to just report it to I'm him. I'm sorry, but I'm here on official business and I don't have time to chat. Managed to get enough, did you? Take it back to Carnius if you would, please. Okay. I think he was up Can here somewhere. You need something? Now, I know that this is optional, but yeah. I have already started doing some quests for the evil people that colonize everything, so I may as well just, you know, continue. That's how this works, right? Ah, so you have the aura asked Falco for. He couldn't even accomplish that by himself, could he? No matter, the investors are waiting for this, so hand it over. Here's payment for the job. I don't have any other work for you right now. Come back and see me about in about three days. By then the construction should have been well underway and there will likely be more for you to do. I'll take the stock certificate. It's a way to offset the cost of establishing and developing the colony. Each employee is issued a certificate that has value based on how well the colony is performing. If you decide you like to exchange it for money, it can be arranged. See me if you're interested in doing so. Okay, so I'll just be carrying That's around small. the worthless piece of paper for a while. Got it. Actually, can you like promote me or something? I am now a clerk. Well, that's nice of me being a clerk and all. Let's hear it. So there's somebody just like investigating moon sugar murders. I suspect the hat, the, the man in the funny hat. Then we have the missing captain. And he's like all the way up there. What does my thing say about moon sugar? I still suspect the man in the hat. I don't know what to say. I don't know if he's poisoning the sugar. Jesus, these guys are just running on alcohol, manpower, and potions to restore endurance. And possibly moon sugar, considering the amount of it that has made it into this island. Oh, you're a 
aggressive, okay. I'll hit you then. These people are a lot pushier than I expected them to be. I definitely need to heal myself and Jesus Christ, they have started doing this shit again. Where they're just all like... You don't need all those stats. Why would you need all those stats? I would love to take out... Um, a summon of my own. But unfortunately, if I do... Then, um... The game will crash. We have tested this. Unless I summon something else. Like a construct. That will work. Oh no. She, she has a thing that disintegrates armor. I, I hate broken things, though. There's another lady like that in that direction. And we, at the very least, have... repaired enough of ourselves, not our armor. I do have quite a few things that can just hammer armor armor back together, so it's not that big of a deal. That is just a gathering of men. I will well avoid them. I did not expect Solstam to be so... I don't know, peaceful? It's just... You get to splash around in nature and level up. And just see bands of men. I also have always heard that... Oh, the enemies in here are extra, like, tough and bad, but not really. They're kind of easy to chop-chop at. I suppose if you entered not at max level, then maybe? But I've even, like, max on strength, and I'm supposed to be a mage, so... <laughs> I just, I found Keening and got intrigued. <laughs> Became good at the stabbers. Okay, so that is just the map for people that do the whole mead thing. Hello! How's it going? I hope you're having a great day. We're just having some peaceful times in Solstheim. Mind you, we have also done a very, very, very annoying escort. And I crashed several times, which wasn't that nice. But as long as I never summon anything and just stab, gonna be just fine. I think I ran past the village. Okay, I think I ran directly into the village, never mind. Hello, I come bearing skulls of your ancestors. Okay. You are not of the skull. Speak with Farsten Hartfang in the Great Hall. He is our leader and will deal with you. That sounds vaguely threatening. I was told that you're gonna deal with me? What do you want, stranger? The skull wish you no harm, but you will mind your manners while you are within our walls. We will take no exceptions. Now, what it is that I hear about an attack on the Imperial Fort? 
Those soldiers, pah! They cut their trees and dig their holes and have little to show after a day's toil. They do not respect this land or its creatures, and for that I find them offensive. But though I have no love for them, the Skull would never do such a thing. We prefer to let the Imperials kill themselves slowly, but these creatures that attacked, these were not wolves of this island. Now have you finished your, your business here? Wolves? Wolves are one of the most blessed of all makers uh, creations. They are fast and agile, and they are careful and clever hunters. You say you brought the bones of one of our ancestors, stupid Imperials. They need to learn to leave things as they are. So it is good that you have returned this to the skull. Perhaps there is hope for you and your kind. You will come here for the moment, but there is much to atone for. The Imperials in their fort have brought nothing but harm to these lands. They cut the trees and dug the earth. They are wasteful, lazy, and careless. They have no comprehension of the oneness of the land. It is this oneness for which the Skull derive our strength, and the Imperials have defiled these lands. This is what gives Skull power. It is the balance of our lands, the trees and the waters, wolf and bear. The Imperials have no respect for this balance, and we pay the price. Uh, through their carelessness, the Imperials have upset the natural order, the oneness of the land. This is their nature. It must be balanced once again and all make her appeased. I wish for you to make things right, Marta. You will be the one to restore the power of the skull. It is right that you do this, as it is your people who have caused the damage. Speak with Korst when die in the Shaman's Hunt. He will give you further instructions. The Shaman. He should spend more time with steel and less in studies. Still, he can prove good advice. <laughs> it's just so like... Everybody should just be stabbing. Why do we even have a shaman? Shaman should be stabbing people too. Well... I am used to playing games... That require a lot of reading. <laughs> And how will I know what I'm supposed to be doing if I skip all the text? <laughs> Greetings to you, Wonder. Why have you come to our village? Um, attack on the fort? I can tell you no more about this. If there is information, Heartfang will have it. I'm sorry, I can do no more. Okay, um, I was told to seek you out for oneness. <laughs> there is a careful balance that lies in all things of this world. The animals, the trees, even the rocks and the winds. It is a harmony that the skull draw power from. By the grace of the All Maker, he who gave us all these gifts. When the balance is upset, their power is lessened. Restore the power to the skull. Is this gonna be the right- Yep, it's gonna be the right conversation thing. Heartfang wishes for you to do this, does he? Then I will assist you. There is a ritual that must be completed. On Soul's time, you will find six standing stones, each representing one of the six gifts of the Owl Maker. At each of these stones, a ritual must be completed. Once the ritual of the gifts is complete, the oneness should be restored. <laughs> just, you know, play very little story games and just skip the reading bit and just be confused from the head on. Subscription received. Aw, oh, thank you for subscribing, Furness, and hello. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It would be too much for any not of the skull to remember. Here, take this. It will explain the rituals and guide you on your way. This book may be some use to you as well. If you are to remain with the skull, you should understand our beliefs. Ah, uh, so I'm just... I'm just becoming the skull Argonian then. Okay. This Defin definitely, we're one and the same, buddy. I am off your you tribe. The ritual of the gifts. I hope your way has been easy. That's. Is this what I'm supposed to be reading? Oh, locations of the stones. Already forgotten. Okay. <laughs> Well, at least a lot of these are like next to. Well, 
like natural things. So I think this one's at the lake, this one's at like intersection. So I should be able to figure that out. Are these your beliefs? Sit quietly, child, and listen for the story I tell you. It's a story of the ages. Nobody even read it out for me. I feel so not coddled. They just gave me the scroll. Like, read it. But what is it, grandfather? Is it the story of heroes and beasts? The grandfather looked patiently at the child. He was growing into a fine boy. Soon he would see the value in these stories, the lessons that were taught to each generation. Just listen, child. Let the story take root in your heart. In a time before now, long before now, when the skull were new, there was peace in the land. The sun was hot and the crops grew long, and the people were happy in the peace that the Allmaker provided. But the skull grew complacent and lazy, and they took for granted the lands and all the gifts that the Allmaker had given them. They forgot, or chose not to remember, that the adversary is always watching and that he delights in tormenting the Allmaker and his chosen people. And so it was that the adversary came to be among the Skull. The adversary has many aspects. He appears in the unholy beasts and the incurable plague. At the end of seasons, we will know him as a Thar Thartag, the world devourer. But in these ages, he came to be known as the greedy man. Well, that's quite the level up evolution there. You can go from being a greedy man to Thartag the World Devourer. <laughs> as long as you try hard enough, you too can devour worlds. The greedy man, that is what we call him, or to speak his name would certainly bring ruin to the people. Well, whoops, lived among the skull for many months. Perhaps he was once just a man, but when the adversary entered into him, he became the greedy man, and that is how he is remembered. It came to be one day that the powers of the skull left them. The strength left the arms of the warriors, and the shaman could no longer summon the beasts at their side. He forgot how to read. The elders thought that surely that the Allmaker was displeased, and some suggested that the Allmaker had left them forever. It was then that the greedy man appeared to them and spoke. You of the skull have grown fat and lazy. I have stolen the gifts of your Allmaker. I have stolen the oceans so you will forever know thirst. I have stolen the lands and the trees and the sun so your crops will wither and die. I have stolen the beasts so you will go hungry. And I have stolen the winds so that you will live without the spirit of the Allmaker. And until one of you can reclaim these gifts, the Skull will live in misery and despair. For I am the greedy man, and that is my nature. And then the greedy man disappeared. The members of the Skull spoke for many days and nights. They knew that one of them must retrieve the gifts of the Allmaker, but they would not decide who it should be. I cannot go, said the Elder, for I us must stay to lead the Skull and tell our people what is the law. I cannot go, said the warrior, for I must protect the skull. My sword will be needed in case the greedy man reappears. I cannot go, said the shaman, for the people need my wisdom. I must read the portents and offer my knowledge. It was then that a young man called Avar lifted his voice. He was strong of arm and fleet of foot, though he was not yet a warrior of the skull. I will go, said Avar, and the skull laughed. Hear me out, the boy continued. I am not yet a warrior, so my sword will not be needed. I cannot read the portents, so people will not seek my counsel. And I am young, and not yet wise in the ways of the law. I will retrieve the gifts of the Allmaker from the greedy man. If I cannot, I will not be missed. The skull thought on this briefly and decided to let Avar go. He left the village the next morning to retrieve the gifts. Avar first set out to retrieve the gift of water, so he traveled to the water stone. It was there that the Allmaker first spoke to him. Travel west to the sea and follow the swimmer to the waters of life. So Avar walked to the edge of the ocean, and there was the swimmer, a black hawker, sent from the Allmaker. The swimmer dove into the waters and swam very far and far again. 
Eivor was strong though, and he swam hard. He followed the swimmer to a cave, swimming deeper and deeper, his lungs burning and his limbs exhausted. At last he found a pocket of air, and there, in the dark, he found the waters of life. Gathering his strength, he took the waters and swam back to the shore. Upon returning to the water stone, the Allmaker spoke. You have returned the gift of water to the skull. The oceans again will bear fruit, and their thirst will be quenched. Uh, did I... If the ocean was there for him to swim through it... Um, what happened to it exactly? Did it just turn to salt? Was he swimming through jelly? Could they not drink that? Eivor then traveled to the Earth Stone, and there the Allmaker spoke to him again. Enter the cave of the hidden music, and hear the song of the Earth. So Eivor traveled north and east to the cave of the hidden music. He found himself in a large cavern, where the rungs hung from the ceiling and grew from the ground itself. He listened there and heard the song of the earth, but it was faint. Grabbing up his mace, he struck the rock of the floor in time with the song, and the song grew louder, until it filled the cavern of his heart. Then he returned to the earth stone. The gift of the earth is with the skull again, said the owl maker. The lands are rich again and will bear life. Eivor was tired as the sun burned him. The trees offered no shade and there was no wind to cool him. Still he traveled on to the beast rock, and the Allmaker spoke. Find the good beast and ease his suffering. Eivor traveled through the woods of the Ins Isanfir for many hours until he heard the cries of a bear from over a hill. And he crested a, crested a hill, he saw the bear, a falmous arrow piercing its neck. He checked the woods for the falmer, for that is what they were, though... Some say they are not. Check the woods for the former, for that is what they were, though some say they are not. What? On finding none, approached the beast. He spoke soothing words and came upon it slowly, saying, Good beasts, I mean you no harm. The Allmaker has sent me to ease your suffering. Hearing these words, the bear ceased his struggles, and he laid his head at the Eivor's feet. Eivor grasped the arrow and pulled it from the bear's neck. Using the little nature ma magic he knew, Eivor tended the wound, though it took the last bit of his strength. As the bear's wound closed, Eivor slept. When he awoke, the bear stood over him, and the remains of a number of the former were strewn about. He knew that the good beast had protected him during the night. He traveled back to the beast rock, the bear by his side, and the Allmaker spoke to him again. You have returned the gift of the beasts. Once again, the good beasts will feed the skull when they are hungry, clothe them when they are cold, and protect them in times of need. Avar's strength has returned, so he traveled onto the tree stone. Though the good beast did not follow him, when he arrived, the old father spoke to him. The first trees are gone and must be replanted. Find the seed and plant the first tree. Eivor traveled again through the Herstang forest, searching for the seeds of the first tree, but he could find none. Then he spoke to the tree spirits, the living trees. They told him that the seeds had been stolen by one of the former, for they are the servants of the adversary, and this former was hiding them deep in the forest, so that none would ever find them. Eivor traveled to the deepest part of the forest, and there he found the evil former, surrounded by the lesser tree spirits. Eivor could see that the spirits were in his thrall, that he had used the magic of the seeds and spoken their secret name. Eivor knew he could not stand against such a force, and that he must retrieve the seeds in secret. Eivor reached into his pouch and drew out his flint. Gathering leaves, he started a small fire outside the clearing where the falmer and the un unsorcelled spirits milled. All the skull know that the spirits hated uh, hatred of fires, for the fires ravaged the trees they serve. At once the nature of the spirits took hold, and they wrestled to quell the flames. During the commotion, Avar snuck behind the falmer and snatched a pouch of seeds, stealing away before the evil being knew that they were gone. So when I'm facing those spirits, maybe setting them on fire is the right idea? When Eivor returned to the tree stone, he planted the tree in the ground. 
and the Allmaker spoke to him. The gift of trees is restored. Once again, the trees and plants will bloom and grow and provide nourishment and shade. Eivor was tired, for the sun would only burn and the winds would not yet cool him, but he rested briefly in the shade of the trees. His legs were weary and his eyes heavy, but he continued on, traveling to the sunstone. Again the Allmaker spoke. The gentle warmth of the sun is, sun is stolen, so now it only burns. Free the sun from the halls of the penumbra. <laughs> Okay, he's just about to enter a completely different place. Um, I'm pretty sure that that would be just, what, a portal to a different dimension? And so Ava walked west over the frozen lands until he reached the halls of Penumbra. The air inside was thick and heavy, and he could not see no further than the end of his arm. Still, he felt his way along the walls, though he heard the shuffling of feet and knew that this place held the unholy beasts, who would tear his flesh and eat his bones. For hours he crept along until he saw a faint glow of a fire at the end of the hall. There, from behind a sheet of perfect ice, came a glow so bright he had to shut his eyes, lest he be forever blinded. He plucked the flaming eye from one of the unholy beasts and threw it at the ice with all his might. A small crack appeared in the ice, then grew to larger. Slowly the light crept out between the cracks, widening them, splitting the ice wall into pieces. With a deafening crack, the wall crumbled and the light rushed over Avar and through the halls. He heard the shrieks of the unholy beasts as they were blinded and burned. He ran up the halls, following the light, and collapsed on the ground outside. When he was able to rise again, the sun again warmed him, and he was glad for that. He traveled back to the sunstone, where the Allmaker spoke to him. The gift of the sun is the skulls once again. It will warm them and give them light. What was it doing while burning, like? Isn't that just extreme warmth? Wouldn't that still give light? <laughs> Avar had one final gift he had to recover, the gift of the wind, so he traveled to the windstone, far on the western coast of the island. When he arrived, the Allmaker spoke to him, giving him his final task. Find the greedy man and release the wind from his captivity, so make him fart. So Avar wandered the land in search of the greedy man. He looked in the trees, but the greedy man did not hide there. Nor did he hide near the oceans or the deep caves, and the beasts had not seen him in the dark forests. Finally, Avar came to a crooked house, and he knew that here he would find the greedy man. Who are you? shouted the greedy man, that you would come to my house? I am Avar of the Skull, said Avar. I am not a warrior, shaman, or elder. If I do not return, I will not be missed. But I have returned to the oceans, and the earth, and the trees, the beasts, and the sun. And I will return the winds to my people, that they may feel the spirit of the old maker and their souls again. And with that, he grabbed up the greedy man's bag and tore it open. The winds rushed out with gale force, sweeping the greedy man up and carrying him off, far from the island. Avar breathed in the winds and was glad. He walked back to the windstone, where the old maker spoke to him a final time. You have done well, Avar. You, know, you, the least of the skull, have returned my gifts to them. The greedy man is gone for now, and should not trouble your people again in your lifetime. Your all-maker is pleased. Go now and live according to your nature. And Avar started, ba started back to the skull village. And then what happened, grandfather? What do you mean, child? You went home. <laughs> no, when he returned to the village. Was he made a warrior or thought the ways of the shaman? Did he lead the skull in battle? I do not know. This is where the story ends, said the grandfather. But that is not an ending. That is not how stories end. The old man laughed and got up from his chair. Is it not? <laughs> the child was just disappointed. Like, oh, I wanted cool shit to happen. This is gonna be so hard to see. I think one of the stones is there. Um, I hope I don't need to actually like get them in... in order.
Let's go to the windstone because I think it will be the easiest one to get to. Is how will I recognize the stones? This is a very weird expansion. Your biggest problems are like boars. This feels like the right place. I don't see any special stones. I just see our regular everyday stones. To be fair, that picture is pretty big, so... Could be anywhere in here. Ah! Are you the wind? Travel south and east of the lake of ice to Glanchol's tomb and free the winds from the greedy man's bag. Travel south and east of the lake of ice. Okay, well I know where the lake of ice is. That's the Lake of Ice. And I can definitely do south, I think. Okay, it's just a man on a boar. Can't really call it a man. It's just a thing on a boar. It rides. Are you guys friendly? I'd like you to meet Erna. We have a love my wife would never understand. Let me introduce you to Erna. She and I have a love my wife would never understand. Have you met my love, Brenda? <laughs> okay! So you guys are just... Having an affair, and pr pronouncing it very loudly. Got it. Well, that's the Lake of Ice. That has been south. So... East is that way. I really love the music in here. I, I don't entirely trust my ability to find... ...tombs. Because that sounds kind of complicated. That looked a bit like a tomb. Because it's like, you know, kind of square and stuff. I don't suppose it's on that little island. Well, we can check that. Just like run to the mainland. Probably can. 
That's just some boars. Don't particularly want to fight them. Oh, that does look like a tomb. Might have been correct. Okay, that is not correct. But it's very interesting that that is something. Though I just noticed that it said east and south off the lake, so we need to go a bit more down. I could have totally unlocked that place, but I don't really want to enter some place that I don't need to be right now. But in case we're ever asked to, to enter there, we'll know where it is. So now we're just east of the lake. Need to be a bit more south as well. Pity that I can't ask the very aggressive people. The very aggressive people on boars. Stop it. Did go both south and east. I still can't locate the tomb. Is this a tomb? No, this is a barrow. What does a tomb even look like? Now I'm just going more south than east. Is it here? Yes! We found it! Cool. Thank you for waiting for me to start stabbing. That's very nice of you. That dog feels kind of damaging. This guy does not. Well, the tomb is properly inhabited. There are definitely dead things in here. Okay, you are less squishy now. My weapon being halfway gone is making me worry about my armor, so... Oh yes. There was a good reason why I felt worried about Raid Guard. I also do need my shield too. Hey, I leveled up something. I don't actually know what doing repairs levels exactly. There is no like repair skill.
Remind me to pick more repair hammers up. Ebony armor seems like such a pain to repair. Sometimes you get like a proper jump, sometimes you get like one. There we go. How many do I still have? One. <laughs> okay, I'll definitely want to purchase more of these I can't have everything breaking in the middle of the fight like what happened with Amalexia excuse me just here to retrieve the wind if any of you fart that will count Very full cave. There's a lot of guys here. A lot of dead people, a bit overcrowded. Have they considered burying people more spread out like? So that their dead can all have at least their own, you know, place of living, their own house. If you want me to stay a zombie for all eternity, you better give me my own house. Drogon looks so different than Skyrim. Can I like... wait? Oh yeah, I can. Cool. That means that everybody died. <laughs> It sure is windy in here. Okay, I should actually return to the windstone now. It is also very dark now that the wind has blown. So, um... Now that we don't actually have a greedy man, because that was just, you know, a figment of the story. Who's putting wind inside bags repeatedly? Oh, okay, she's angry with me. It is kind of funny when you can talk with them just before they start fighting. I should have gone to the sunstone first. It seems very dark in here. So that is the lake. I think there is one stone at the lake as well. So I'll have to check it out later. More in depth. At least because I can breathe on the water, like diving is not very much a problem for me, so... I am not afraid about the terrain. Do I feel that, considering that the reason why I can breathe in the water is because I'm Argonian? I feel like it should be an automatic thing. You guys angry with me, or...? You have no business being here, stranger. Okay. You guys aren't angry with me, you just don't want me to stay around. That's close to being angry, but not quite the same. Hello, I found the bag of farts. Oh god, that sound. <laughs> As I approached the windstone, it began to glow with a mythical light. I have completed the gift of winds ritual. Where were the rest of them now? Nope, wait. That's just my share in the company. Don't mind that. Um... Okay, beast stone at the lake.
Uh, well, let's knock the beast stone out because at the very least we'll be able to find it. It's not always that with other stones. Sometimes I get very confused. Oh, right, I forgot. They're in love. Never mind. I was like, they're gonna be angry with me, but no, they're just standing here in the snow having an affair and announcing it to absolutely everybody who would listen. That's definitely- that's not the way to have an affair, okay? It should stay secret, my dude. You don't, like, just meet a stranger and go, Hi, I am having an affair! It's very nice that this lake decides to glow. It's improving visibility, but the fact that there's snow is making it very hard to see. Um, I need to figure out... Like, at the top on the corner of the lake. Is that it? Probably is. Okay, now that I know what they look like, they're, they're a lot easier to find. I'm just like looking for really, really big stones. Travel south, find the good beast, and ease its suffering. None of you are a good beast, so I don't care. So I need to find an injured animal somewhere in here. Kinda unfortunate, considering that I would prefer to just injure my own animal. Okay, you're a plague wolf. I don't know, mate. I don't think I can help you. You guys are probably not good, nor are you beasts, so there's that. There is like a lone bear over here. Okay, lone was an understatement. There is a whole pile of bears over here. And that is the Christmas house. I think everyone's getting a bit poisoned by moon sugar in there, not... Anything else. Grizzly bear. You know, let me just quickly enter the moon sugar house. I just want to talk with the Santa Claus to see if he's poisoning candy, people with candy. drugs. He makes so much. Uncle um. has a magic touch. So it's back to the workshop in the snow with lovely lanterns all aglow. Hee hee ha ho. Hee hee ha ha ho. Snow? It's white and wet. What more can I tell you? Okay, so I can't confront him that he might be, like, poisoning people with drugs. Got it. Any of you, like, injured? If not, I could totally make you be. Like, it's not much of a problem for me, just ask. Are you injured? No, just very aggressive. Can I contact more than one stone? Yeah, I can. Go to the west and free the warm sun from the heart of Penumbra.
I, I think this one's easier than searching for weird, mysterious, injured bear. Though, to be fair, I don't know what holes of penumbra are. Like... Is that it? That looks very black. Yeah, it is! Uh... Ah, there we go. Much better. It is seemingly devoid of light until you, you know, turn the light bulb on. That definitely works. Ah, uh, so many dead people everywhere in here. like run past you guys because I remember the story and it said that when he used the item like the thing that brought back the light that all the dead people died from the light looking in here, but I did find money. Found me. Okay, well that was very nice of all the loot that I got in here. My dude, thank you very much. This is gonna be going now. Please stop hitting me. Whoops, I accidentally put on the ring. I did not want to do that. There we go. Put my smart ring back on. Without it, how will I ever find what I'm looking for? I wouldn't be smart enough. Let's try this way. Oh, okay. Um, enchanted sword. Another enchanted sword. Not what I'm looking for. Okay, so we gotta go deeper. Is it somewhere here? that I should stab. After I finish stabbing this one, that is. Unfortunately, it's pretty good at stabbing this one. I mean, hitting. But so am I. to set up a quest as a story and then be like go go do it 
reenact the story. Like, they kind of prove. Though I hate that they're saying that if I disappeared, nobody would miss me. I'm sorry, I'm the Neverine. I'm pretty sure everyone would miss me. Aha! Yes! Throw it at the ice wall. Yay! We freed the light! And then I got stuck on everything. But also, we freed the light. Okay, my armor is taking so such serious damage in here. Alright, well, Dean didn't die. That's a shame. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. My armor is still okay. It's just that it's halfway used for the... Okay, fair enough. I thought that my armor charge was being, like... Depleted that my shield was getting close to breaking again, and I was like, God damn it, Jesus, I'll have to go and just get myself more um, hammers. I would also see a repair dude, but it's easier to also carry around a lot of hammers on me. Not really using that space for anything, anyway. Oh, hello, everybody. Excuse me, I don't really have time for this. I'm doing stones right now. Hello, grizzly bear. Are you injured or in pain? No? Okay. No, this is running. There's absolutely no fighting. Hey, I made it glow. I'm not standing anywhere. I'm actually lying down right now. So, I have completed the gift of the sun ritual. Well, currently, I am actually lying down. So I wouldn't be so sure of it. You call this fighting? No, I call this flying away. Why would I fight you? Like, that looks like a monument. But there's no injured beast, so I'm very confused. Let's not hit the floor, it won't be pretty. Actually, could the injured beast be in a burrow? Oh, no, 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 this is where I helped that man... Defeat the singular Draugr. Rather, where he stood around just for moral support. Anyway, this is a pretty safe place to just be for now. So I'm gonna stay here. Um, when we come back, it's gonna be stones. Time. Yeah. I have mixed feelings about this expansion. On one hand, it is kind of nice. Like, there's lore. And I like how the area looks. On the other hand, though, I have already crashed twice. And the amount of things in here can be very annoying. It makes navigation quite the thing 
Oh, at least if I don't need to be escorting anyone else, it's not that bad. Anyway, thank you for being here and for watching. I should see you this Saturday because I'm back to streaming and we're when we're finishing Morrowind, we're probably going to do Daggerfall. So yeah, there's plenty to look forward to. Thank you for joining me. And actually, before you go, that's the necklace. I don't I don't actually know if you can like see it very well. But it's like a little kitty. Um <laughs> It's, it's very hard to see. <laughs> yeah, I have three of them. Three cat necklaces. I really like them. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I, I, will, I will see you the next time. Toodaloo.